tutorials. Today we are going to learn about the screensaver pane in System Preferences. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, I already have a screensaver and it's just the default. Well, we're going to go over like the possible options for a screensaver and stuff like that. So to start, we're going to go down to System Preferences down here. Click on it. And then we're going to go to desktop and screensaver. And then there is a little tab here, the screensaver, let's click on that. And then we can test out the screensavers. Click on that. We can test it out. And it's quite beautiful, actually. Except there's going to be an options button, and that's the very important thing. And here's mine for the apple. And how I did that, instead of just saying like the default, is to click options here. And it says message. So I'm just going to leave it as do not touch the screen. And click OK. And then it will show up as that. For flurry. Okay, we got the idea. Um, you can customize it as in like few streams. The thickness is thin and the speed is fast. So let's see what that to be. Because when you customize it, it um, turns out different. It's very cool. It's probably my favorite of all this. Um, and then you can also, you also have these. And you can like choose for it to be red. So it has like almost like a red theme to it. Or magenta. So it's purple. Blue. So it's obviously well blue theme to it. I like this one. And besides the colors, of course, um, you can have a slow cycle, which will make the cycle slower, obviously. Um, you can have a cycle, just a normal cycle, and you can have a fast cycle. Um, you can have the fastest cycle. cycle, which is where it kind of looks a bit overexposed almost. Um, and you can still change these while you're doing this. You can have medium cycle. So, then you can have dark cycle, which is where the colors are a bit darker. So, let's say I choose dark cycle, and I choose there to be few streams with a big thickness and speed it will turn out like that. iTunes artwork, that will show you iTunes artwork, like, it'll kind of come up in tiles and it'll go away. Because I don't have any on this computer, I can't show that. Um, my RSS visualizer, this is very cool. This will show you the Apple Hot News, but that's just the default. Um, so on RSS visualizer, um, in the options menu right here, you can choose what you would like, or you can go to a website, such as Engadget here, and then you have to copy and paste their RSS feed URL up here, into there, and say your article display duration, done, and let's test it. So it'll say Engadget, and then it will say it's one of the Engadget articles. Um, shell, you can't customize, it's just like that. So, yeah. Spectrum, you can't customize either, it's just changing of colors. Word of the day, you can customize. You can choose the dictionary, that's the automatic. Um, you can sh choose to shuffle your pictures from a particular album or. 
like abstract, you can choose that. These are apple made screen savers. And for these, you just have the same options. Present slides in random order, cross fade between slides, zoom back and forth, crop slides to fit screen, and keep slides center. And then with that, you have this and this. It's almost like a grid. Yeah, you get the point. Okay. And that's for all of them, but I'm not going to move through all of them. If you choose iPhoto, you can have your photos as, like, your screensaver. Um, and you can choose different iPhoto albums right here. Um, you can have different faces that you chose, like Eleanor and statue. <laughs> um, and then you can have your Facebook photos that you posted from iPhoto. Okay, so I think that is all. Um, thank you for watching and subscribe.